Quackity, you've turned out to be a great person. Even great if you, you swear a little too much. See, uh, that's, that's weird. The whole swearing thing is so strange to me because I... I literally, I would be able to count with my fingers the amount of times I've cursed around my parents. I've, I never, and I've never, and I never mm -hmm. plan to curse around my parents. But maybe, maybe that restriction, because I set myself that restriction, you know, I've, I've just never yeah. wanted to curse around them. And maybe that restriction, when I stream and when I'm finally, like, in the public eye, it makes me, you know, makes me, like, want to curse or kind of like a... You know, kind of like letting steam out, and and it, and it and it's interesting because you know my dad curses, my dad curses mm -hmm. quite a bit, but not in a in a bad way. You know, like he. Here's the thing: in Mexico, our culture is very much involved around cursing. It's very rare to see someone who doesn't curse at all. Really. So, so like when I'm with friends in real life and stuff like that, when I used to, because I don't, I can't anymore. But I used to be around friends like in. Uh, like in high school and stuff, I'd curse, but like I'll, I'll just never curse around my family. I feel you. I feel you. It's very Have similar. You, what what in, like, it, the U.S. So you do you just you just when's the last time you cursed? Uh, it's been a while. I mean, like I obviously you know I I've, I've sworn, but I think as far as like like intentionally swearing. I'd say it's been a long time. Accidental swearing, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago? I don't know. Um, yeah, so the last swear word I would definitely say was at least a couple months ago. Um, Whoa! Yeah. I, I've, I uh, do not uh, swear. I have pretty much eliminated it from my vocabulary. Um, if I ever do swear, it is accidental. Um, People jokingly make fun of that, but I think that's such a good skill to have. <laughs> Knowing how to not curse at all. I wish I had it. If I could choose not to curse at all, I would 100% do it. But I'll, it's kind of just part of me at this point. I'll give you a... a, a, a I don't know if it's a pro tip, but... I, I see what you're saying. Um, so, <laughs> subbing certain words into your vocabulary, like muffin, is a great way to go. Um, okay, I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna do that, bad. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. I'm not. I'm not gonna go you in. Pick and a different word. Muffin head. You no. You I'm not. I'm not gonna get word. in a in a bar fight and be like, you freaking muffin head. Oh, well, you shouldn't be getting They'll in bar fights. They'll just start laughing at. They'll just start anyway. laughing at me. What if I do? What if I want to get in a bar fight? There's, Oh Bad. If I if if a guy's about to shoot me in a traffic stop because I piss him off, what? and I say and I say don't pull the trigger, muffin head, he <laughs> will undoubtedly no 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 blow ten bullets in into me. Already at that, you're already three degrees deep into the problem at that point. Okay, <laughs> you've you've literally that's like saying if I'm in a bad situation, I shouldn't be in. And X happens, I'm not gonna do X. Well, yeah, you shouldn't be in that situation in the first place. Getting into a bar fight or a, or a dispute or fight over traffic is like you've already you've already gone too far down the rabbit hole, Mr. Quackity. Yeah, but you gotta, all I'm you saying gotta back is that it up, back it up. Between me cursing and not cursing, mm -hmm. that'll that'll probably save my life. Oh uh, no, I said my response points. You know what? Alright. Well, I, I'm like again. This has always been my my stance on cursing, right? And my stance mm -hmm. on swearing. I again this because a lot of people read too much into it, right? It's not that I have any problem with people swearing, right? Because I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily have a problem, right? If people okay. want to swear. That's totally up to them, right? Like, I have a lot... I would say probably most of my friends, 99% of them, have what I would say, you know, potty mouths, right? They swear a lot, right? They just mm -hmm. do. And I don't let it bother me when I'm with them, when we're just hanging out or something like that. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, True. You just you just yell out, LANGUAGE! That's okay, that's doing. only when, like, I'm streaming <laughs> or something like that. That's different, okay? But... I, I, I try not to do that when, like, nobody's streaming or anything like that, or when maybe their stream or something like that. Maybe I won't. But the reason is, is because I 
want i i know like so like growing up right like my parents mm. wouldn't let me watch anything that had like naughty language in it right like they were obviously trying mm. to be good parents you know and they were like making sure that i was you know watching stuff that was appropriate and so i think about that and i think about how there's plenty of content out there for people who want to swear but is there content out there for people who don't want swearing right and so one of the things like i said was i'm like i'm like oh I'm going to make sure that the content that I make for my audience, that there are, and again, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with parents who let their kids consume content that has words in it, teach their own, right? Um, but I, all I'm saying is that, like, I understand there are going to be parents who want to provide their kids with content that is family friendly, right? Or doesn't have swears in it or language that they deem inappropriate, right? So I figure mm. if I'm going to keep certain types of language out of my content, I might as well try and make an effort to keep swearing and stuff out of my content. And pretty much for my entire YouTube channel, I've never had swearing in my content. Now, as far as like my personal interactions, like I haven't sworn like on the regular, like, like growing up, right? Like I never swore, like I would say I've never had like swearing in my vocabulary at all but i'm not going to say that i 100 percent never let swear words slip because obviously when you're around people who swear a lot that is going to you know you are going to pick up on some of those words right and those words are go you're going to say them at some point it's just i've tried to do better a better job of when i am upset you know, not, you know, saying something like that. And it, I, like for, you know, I've been doing a really good job of that for, for years. Yeah. So anyway. Fuck yeah. Language! Awesome. What the muffin quality? You just told you that whole thing. And what the first thing that comes out of your mouth is a flipping swear word. Dang it. it that, that's, that's very interesting though. I think um, the way my parents handled it is, you know, when I was a kid, they didn't want me to swear. And it makes sense, you know? No no parent wants a child who with a potty mouth. Um, but as I grew older, they, um, you know, the way they would handle things is, okay, so it's just like swearing. It's not, it's not gonna end your life, you know, mm -hmm. if you swear. But it's kind of, it's kind of that introduction, you know? Like, as a kid, you don't, you don't want, any parent wouldn't want, I'm, I'm pretty sure, to, for their child to consume not appropriate content. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it's like sooner or later you're going to be exposed to, to yeah. the content. So might as well do it with that bit of parental supervision and that kind of like, I guess that tiny bit of, you know, I guess, yeah. like. like I, I, I would say I agree with that to a, to a certain degree. Um, I would say that I, I think there are different parenting styles and I think every, every kid is different. And so maybe at a younger age for certain kids, like seeing, you know, content where somebody's swearing, right, is fun. Maybe it's more okay for that kid because that kid. What were you gonna say? Huh? Is, is is what? What more okay for that kid? Like to see, yeah, okay. see, like, what do you think I said? You said and I'm no, like, Wait, no, 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 <laughs> no. I'm not. <laughs> no, I have to. But so, like, say for example, like. Like, so like me growing up, I would say like, would it have been okay? Like, were my parents like perfect at like keeping me from consuming like content that had, no, obviously I watched like YouTube videos and stuff that had plenty of swearing in it, right? And obviously like tons of my friends like growing up swore. Yeah. But I think uh, the fact that my parents like, I feel like I was, I was a kid who like, my parents did a good job of like being like, hey, none of that language in the house or something like that. And you know, <laughs> there's another story I'll tell me uh, at some point. But the point is, my parents tried to instill in me, you know, not swearing. And you know, my parents, they didn't swear like in the household, right? Mm -hmm. Now, again, my dad swore at certain points, right? Um, they, they did um, like, like if my dad got really upset, he would throw out a curse word, but he would come back and he'd apologize and he'd say, I shouldn't use that language, etc. cetera. Um, Ooh, interesting. But, uh, but one of those things that apparently you weren't the only person who heard me say, like apparently a naughty 
word. I did not say a naughty word. I'm 99% sure I didn't. Um, fun. Mm. I meant fun. I did not say a naughty word, you muffin heads. Okay. Dang, dang it, you muffin heads, you chat. Very anyway, funny. Anyway, if it's... Anyway, um, but the, the point is, right, like, I think, like, now, so I would say that I was more mature for my age than, like, my brothers were, right? My brothers growing up, like, my parents were a lot more strict about the content they consumed because they were much like, and that's why I'm saying, like, every parent, you know, needs to evaluate their child and... Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe for some kids, like it's yeah, impossible. You... It's impossible though to evaluate every single aspect of yeah. their life as well, though. You no, know, that's, like, that's there, true. There's some, like, I don't know. I think I think I think raising a child, like raising a human being, is so difficult. Yeah. Because there's little things that can, like, you know, you know how, like, like when you're in a road with A, B, and C, and you have to pick a path. Like mm -hmm. the simplest things that you don't think will have an impact do have an impact, and that just yeah. and I can create like so many roads. No, what I think is, what I think is, is important true. is to, you know, you obviously can't supervise every aspect of their life, but offering that kind of support when when they need it is important. Yeah, because every human being, like <clears throat> the way I see it, is every human being needs to learn. You know, mm -hmm. like. <laughs> it sounds like yeah. I'm gonna kick someone in the face. No, every human being, but like parenting 101 from, like... from Quackity. <laughs> no, I, 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 I totally feel. I was gonna that. say something, but it, it goes way off topic. I think. I I I think I feel where you're going. Um, it's like, like it's like it's so important for a parent to to kind of teach their child to. Hmm, rather than i i think i get what you're saying rather than give your kid just like a list of rules right like not sweat don't swear or you know don't do this or whatever maybe sort of teaching your child why you don't like actually teaching your kid how to be a better person rather than just giving them a list of like Here's your list of do do's and don'ts, right? It's yeah. like, no, teach your kid, like, why are these things on the don't do list or something like that? Like, like, and that's where I, I think my parents did a good job doing that. I don't know if they're watching the stream, but if they are, hi, mom and dad. I think you did a See, great job raising me. Thank you.